said. So the purpose of organization can vary based on what the objective of the organization is. Our objective is many. Our objective is to build a new kind of citizen that is both class and politically aware of their surroundings and their organization. But as I've said before, it's not enough just to be aware. We don't just gather knowledge for the sake of gathering knowledge. We gather knowledge for the sake of acting and doing and to teach and to create our organization all over we can so we may come together and we'll have a mass line, we'll have mass uh, direction, we'll have mass uh, organization, not just mobilization. To protest is okay. They're, they're just recognizing that there's something wrong. But protest, they always fizzle out. Maybe one week, two weeks, one month. The protest will fizzle out. But organization is ongoing, it's unrelenting, it is continuous, it is constant. It is there to serve a goal. There is a means and an end. Organization is the means. The end is whatever the organization wants. This organization is scientific socialist. This organization wants a social transformation of not just Nigeria that we're based in, but the whole of Africa. So we can play our role in the world socialist revolution that needs to take place. We must overthrow the structures of capitalist and imperialist domination. We must overthrow the structures that, that exploit us. Exploitation of human by human is wrong. As we all know, there's a popular saying in Nigeria, we can't continue like this. It is very true, we cannot continue like this. Capitalist and imperialist domination is quite easy to destroy the world, and it will continue to do so unless we act. If we do not act, nothing happens. And if nothing happens, what was going on will continue to go on. And we will inevitably get worse and worse. We cannot let that happen. We will not let that happen. So this is why this day in particular is very special, not just to the MAE, but to everybody who is serious about making a change, making a better world, making a better Africa, making a better Nigeria. This is your calling call. So, you know, you drag out of the gold drums. Come organize. Come join any serious organization that is want and desiring uh, social transformation. Not just not just by mouth, by, by materials. You can talk of social transformation, but you have to materialize social transformation. There's one thing to object for, for subjective uh, desires, and one thing to turn those subjective desires into objective reality. That is what we want to do as materials. We want to turn the subjective into objective. We want to manipulate the material world in the interest of the, our class, the working class, the laborer. Whether they are informal laborers, formal laborers, we also want to bring the peasantry, the small farmers, the people who produce them or should be producing. We want to have them in our corner and work with us and work with them so we can be the ones that guide Nigeria in the direction that needs to be guided. The bourgeois class, or the comfortable bourgeois class, are the people who own and are privatizing everything beaches, uh, national parks, anything and everything you privatize. Uh, SOE, state owned enterprises, they're being scrapped and will continue to be scrapped for the sake of privatization for their desires and for the desires of multinational corporations. Many Nigerian socialists have, uh, have actively written and talked about it from Baba Mojola to late, uh, late Nigerian political economist Bade uh, Olimode. Uh, he has written multiple books on the World Bank and the IMF and their social, political, and economic uh, impacts on the on the Nigeria and on the third world. And it's always, it's always almost the same case, that the IMF will ask for SAP. SAP is Structural Adjustment Program. So that means to say they want us to devalue our currency in order to be conditioned for accepting the loan, which will cause inflation, which will cause all these hardships. We have seen it with our eyes since the 80s, since the IBB uh, regime. That SAP has never been a positive thing for those who are on the receiving end of IMF loan. It has led to, to quite literally the deindustrialization of Nigeria. We've seen SE, SOV, state owned enterprises, being scrapped and just thrown into the wind. People who had employment, employment is now gone. The government is shrinking, so that means more all of these civil servants are now being thrown into unemployment. Now, we have rising unemployment. What does that mean? Now you have banditry on the, on, on the rise, so people have to do something to survive. Even though it's not good, they have to do something to survive. You see all these people with degrees. Now, they're now actually using their degrees to uh, an effective way. So, you have what we call brain drain. 
or as we say in Nigeria, that part. So everybody is leaving Nigeria, going abroad, going UK, going Canada, going anywhere and everywhere. So all of our talent that is meant to be building Nigeria, then the abroad. So all of this, is, all of these things, is to say that they are connected. It's not just one thing. It's a domino effect. So one domino falls down. The big, the, the big domino, let's say, falls down. It leads to all these horrible, horrible economic uh, phenomena, the social phenomena. It is our responsibility to understand these phenomena. It is our responsibility to act on these phenomena. It is our responsibility to raise the consciousness, the class and political consciousness, to let people know that the interests of the Timurus or the Adelegues or the, uh, of the wealthy people are not the same interests as your average working class person. Once you understand the class and antagonism, once you have proper organization, once you have a proper understanding of your material and social conditions, then you are ready for a class struggle. Then you are ready to struggle against your oppressors and exploiters and come into power. And then you, as the working class, you, as the laborers of, of whatever society you're in, you will be the one to call the shots. You will be the one to direct and, and, and dictate what happens, who should get what, what should happen, and so on and so forth. But none of that is possible without the, the foundation of all type of action. Education is the foundation of action. Political education is the foundation of serious organization. Yes. Without more other ado, I would like to be introducing and welcoming first the few organizations. So we have a few organizations here in Nigeria that have come to attend the opening and the launch of the Baba Majola uh, Social Memorial Library. So I would like to introduce the BSM, the Democratic Socialist Movement. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming. This is not just a MNU's event. This is all of our event. Everybody, it doesn't matter which state you're in, which way you are, it belongs to all of us. This is the people's uh, achievement. This is the people's milestone. So again, to the DSM, the Democratic Socialist Movement, thank you so much for showing up. We very appreciate it. Next, I will be introducing and thanking the MSA, Movement for Socialist Alternative. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. We need a social alternative in Nigeria, and we must work together. All of our organizations must work together. We must be collected. We must build a backyard that will lead the people to a socialist victory in Nigeria. Again, thank you for showing up. MSA, we very appreciate it. Another movement that I'd like to uh, thank is the TIP, Take It Back Movement. Take It Back Movement is here represented. We want to thank them for, for, for showing up. Again, we must take it back. We cannot continue like this, and we will definitely take it back. We will be taking back Nigeria. We will take it, we will wrestle the, for power from the people who have power now and who are just using it for their interests. Okay. Okay. We will take it back. Left. The next, uh, next organization I would like to thank is the SWL, the Socialist Workers League in Nigeria. Thank you for showing up, thank you for being here, thank you for celebrating this uh, momentous uh, achievement with us. We appreciate you, Socialist Workers League, and we will together work together to build an alternative in Nigeria, a socialist alternative in Nigeria. We cannot wait, we cannot continue like this. The time to act is now. Lastly, I'd like to very much thank the MOP, Movement of the People. This is the Lafontaine's uh, party that was revived. And yes, we are here now. We have representatives here. This is the revived party of the Lafontaine. His son has revived it. And we are here today. We are here today to be thanked, to be thanked by us. And we very much appreciate the MOP, Movement of the People. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for joining us. And we will work together to build a people's organization. People's movement that will usher in a new age in Nigeria, a socialist age in Nigeria, do not continue like this at all. See? We have uh, three copies, one per person of Mass Line. Let me show you. Mass Line, these are editions. You know, Baba Magdala was also an editor. He edited and wrote a lot of things. So we'll be handing out three copies of this, one per person. This is also one of the books that he has edited. Uh, about Michael Mobu, he was one of the leading organizers 
during the Zika's movement in Nigeria during the 40s and 50s, a well-known socialist, well-known organizer. So this is a biography of political history uh, edited by Baba Mozola. So yes. So on top of being a socialist memorial library, we're also considering ourselves a pan-African center. And by pan-African center, we mean that we need serious people from all over the continent and the diaspora. It doesn't matter your nationality, it doesn't matter your ethnicity, it doesn't matter which language you speak. We all speak the common language of understanding that all of our conditions are linked one way or another. So our organization should be linked one way or another. That is pan-Africanism, the complete liberation and the total unification of the African continent by scientific socialism. That is what was decided on the fifth pan-African Congress that was held in 1945. You know, key, key member of that pan-Africanist Congress was Kwame Nkrumah, one of the greatest pan-Africanists, one of the greatest socialists, one of the greatest organizers known to mankind. So we wish to continue where he left off and build that uh, unified social Africa. And Nigeria will play its part. The MAE will play its part in all serious organizations we call on them, we urge them, we must work together, we must organize, we must move together. We have to raise awareness, we have to raise the political and class consciousness. But most importantly, we have to organize for victory. Victory is not something that comes out of the sky like rain. Victory is not a natural occurrence. Victory is the tailor-made conclusion of those who struggled, those who contended, those who planned, those who organized and succeeded. That is victory. Imagine you have side A and side B. They contended for something. Side A doesn't plan. Side B plans. Who is more likely to succeed? Side B. You need to be the one succeeding. Right now, we're not succeeding, but our enemy class is succeeding. We need to change that around. If we pick our feet up and do nothing, nothing will happen. But if we bring ourselves together, pull ourselves together, our intellect, our resources, our willpower, our labor, our everything, we have a fighting chance. And that is what we wish to accomplish. We're not just a library, we're also a political organization. We, we are we're multifaceted, we're multi-talented, and we're also urging everybody who's multifaceted and multi-talented to come together for the sake of, not yourself, this is for the sake of others that you don't know, you never met, and you probably won't ever meet. So that is what this is all about, it's for others, it's for collectivization, it's for the well-being of you, your family, and those who will come after you. But we need to make sure that we prepare for the future. And the future cannot continue under capitalist and capitalist domination. It cannot continue under neo-colonial rule. It must be under scientific socialism. We must strategically and scientifically apply dialectical and historical material to our conditions. And then from there, we must organize and prepare for class struggle. And from that class struggle, we will begin our revolution and we will continue to march towards a better world, a better tomorrow, a better Nigeria.